Hello everyone, welcome, I'm Asmina. Thank you for joining me today. Many of us suffer from chronic knee or joint pain from arthritis, osteoarthritis, or just wear and tear from everyday life. And this class will help to strengthen and stretch the muscles of the leg that bring stability to the knee. We'll also work the core a little bit little bit which is important for again for overall health. So we'll be doing a full class, full body, will be the focus on strengthening the muscles of the leg so that the knees can be strong and healthy. We will need um, a chair as you can see, the wall and a block or cushion as our props today. Please as always listen to your body and do what feels right for you in your body. So let's get started for this class. As, and as I always say, even if you don't have time for the whole class, just doing a few poses will make a difference. But just doing something regularly is the key, especially as we are aging. So let's get started sitting comfortably on the edge of the chair. You can take your hands in Gyan Mudra or go a little bit deeper, taking the tip of the index finger to the base of the thumb. And this is Vayu Shamak Mudra. And you'll cross the thumb on top of the index finger. This also helps with joint pain. So sitting comfortably, let's relax in our seat. Softening the body, dropping your weight. And just begin to feel the feet, the backs of the hands on your thighs clothing on your body, the different textures, taste in your mouth, sounds in the room, outside of the room, or the quiet that is around in the room. And then become aware of any thoughts or images that are passing through your mind simply observing them without getting attached to the stories that are created. So remaining neutral, no judgment. Have a, a soft smile on your mouth to help you relax more. And notice how you feel emotionally. Drop your attention into your heart center. Notice the physical body now, head to toe, inside out, feeling what's going on in your knees in this moment. Again, without creating stories, past is over, future is not here. All we have is the present moment where freedom lies. And then we will do our Brahm, uh, breathing as always. And Brahmari Pranayam is uh, a great way to help manage pain. And it will also help as there's longer exhalations can help us really reduce pain in the body because it, it taps into our relaxation response. So if you don't know how to do this, you can always look it up on my channel. There's a whole section on the Brahmari Pranayam. So we'll basically inhale through the nose and we'll exhale, imagining that there's a bumblebee in our sinuses or in your throat, and you'll cre create a humming sound as you exhale. So we're not going to close all the senses today, just a few breaths here. So take a deep breath in. Exhale. Mm -hmm. Inhale, using the three-part breath. Breathe in. Again. 
again, inhale. Last one, inhale. Cleansing breath, if you like, open mouth, sigh. Notice the mind again. Connecting with any clarity, any clearness. Feel the body and heart. And I'll just read the words of wisdom. A couple of them. Robert Urick said, A healthy outside starts from the inside. And Naomi Judd said, Your body hears everything your mind says. A healthy outside starts from the inside. Your body hears everything your mind says. Take a moment to reflect on these words and then set the intention for your practice for what you need today. Could be working on connecting with your soul, your peace within, to work from inside out, strengthening the legs, whatever it is for you, your core. Just repeat it three times to yourself. And then we'll begin. Open your eyes, release your intention and your expectations of the practice. So we're just going to start with rubbing and massaging our legs. So just take some your fingers and get into the right or left leg, whatever you start with. And just massage and just rub, maybe with your thumbs. If you can bend forward and start to get into the shins and calves. And really pay attention, some loving care to get into this connective tissue just by our massaging ourselves. And then to the sides of the legs, get into the hip even, inner leg the inner leg and inner knee, around the knee, behind the knee, back of the leg, lifting the leg up. And take a moment to notice the right side. Feel the difference. And then we'll do the left, left leg or the other side for you, whatever you started with. Getting into the hip flexor as well. Outer leg, behind the thigh, inner. Getting down into the shin and calf. whatever you can reach. Another great way to get into the connective tissue, to, which really helps to connect, it gets into the fascia, which is like a orange rind, orange rind around our body and from the inside. This helps to, to loosen things up because everything is connected. So around the knee, send some love to the knees. And then release. Take a moment to feel cleansing breath. And then just start to walk, tap those feet. Moving again into the connective tissue in the bottom of the feet. If you have a tennis ball, that's a nice way to also massage the feet. Rolling the foot on that helps with all kinds of pain in the body. And then 
release. And then sit back a little bit in your chair and we'll begin to lubricate the knee joint just by straightening and bending the knee. So if it's okay for you, you can have your hands underneath your thigh. If not, just keep the, the thigh on the chair, okay? And then straighten and bend. Inhale up, exhale down. And I forgot to mention, start with the knee. If one of your knee is feeling are more stronger, start with that one first. Inhale, exhale. Have your hands on your thighs so you can feel how your thighs are getting stronger or feeling really firm. And they're, so they're being activated. So that's what we want to strengthen the thigh muscles, the sides of the thighs, inside, and the hamstrings. Keep that foot up now. If you can, hold on behind or just keep it on the chair. Flex and point now. Inhale and exhale. And then circle your ankle nice and slow. And switch. And release. You can do this even in bed. First thing in the morning, we're usually stiff. So you just lay on your bed on your back and lift the right leg or let one leg up and then bend and straighten just like we did or doing right now. Let's get into the other leg now. Inhale up, exhale down. Feel the thigh. Focus on what you're doing. And I'd like you to, with um, throughout the practice, Take longer exhalations, which again helps to tap into the relaxation response in our nervous system. And that helps to help us deal with pain in the body. And then keep that leg up. You can do what you did on the other side and then just flex and point. Inhale, exhale. And then circle, inhale, exhale, switch the other way. And then release. Take a moment to feel your knees, your legs, your thighs. And then coming to the front of the chair, and you're just gonna open and close your knees. So open and close. Your, so your feet are a little wider than your hips. And just open and close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Sitting nice and tall. Getting into the hips here. Inner thighs and outer thighs. And then windshield wipers, hands on the sides of the chair. Legs are wide, just drop your knees to one side and look the other way to get into the spine and then switch. And if you're able to go deeper, you just turn all the way, taking your, if your feet are going to the left, the front foot will be going, front knees pointing down and then switch. Do what works for you, your yoga, your body. And I just noticed I forgot to turn, light the candles. Oh, well. But the hydrangea from the garden are so pretty. Let's finish one more on each side. And come to center. And then... We'll do some hip circles or Sufi circles, they call them sometimes. So again, feet are a little wider than your hips. And then inhale, going to the left leg, 
to the right. Exhale, pull the belly in. And then inhale forward. Exhale, pull the belly in, round the spine. Everything is connected, so working, warming up the whole body, and then we'll switch. So inhaling towards the right leg, and then coming to the left, going back, pull the belly in. Inhale forward, exhale back. Squeaky chair. Gratitude that I have a chair to sit on. And then slowly finishing up one more round. Coming to center, take a moment to feel. Hmm. And let's do a few cat and cows. Inhale, head and chest up. Exhale, round the spine. Pull the belly in. Inhale. Lift the heart, look up, exhale in, inhale up, exhale, press the navel into the spine, get into the upper back, two more, really squeeze the shoulder blades as you inhale and puff up the chest. And release. Cleansing breath. Take a moment to feel. And then left hand can be on your hip or the side of the chair. Inhale, right arm up. And stretch over to the left. And we'll switch. Other side. Inhale up. Exhale, stretch. And come to center. Take your hands to the heart. Inhale, arms out to the side and up. Do a little back bend. Legs are wide. Exhale. Forward bend. Take your hands wherever you can underneath the chair. Look between your legs underneath the chair. Inhale all the way up and back. Hands to the heart. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale up, exhale to the heart. Inhale, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale to the heart. One more. Inhale, pull the belly muscles in, reach back and exhale to the heart. Cleansing breath, take a moment to feel that your body's all warmed up. And then we'll come up to standing. And we're going to do some abductor and adductor work. So those are your, your muscles on the side of your leg. So those are the abductors and the inner is ad. So we're going to strengthen them. So you're going to move your chair over to the side a little bit so that you can hold on to the chair with your left hand. And then shift your weight to the left leg. You're going to just keep that weight on the left leg and then take your right leg out to the side. Allow your toes to be pointing forward. And then bring it back in. Out to the side and in. Inhale. Exhale. You should be feeling this. I am. Try to stand tall. And as you get stronger, you can do more of these. But for now, you're going to stay here now. Hold on as you stretch the leg out. Just keep the leg there. Breathe and smile. You should be feeling it because I am too. And you're also strengthening the other leg, the balancing leg. Pull the belly muscles in, navel in and up. 
One or two more breaths, please. And release. Cleansing breath. Pause and feel. Notice the difference. And then we'll do the other side. So right hand on the chair. Shift your weight to the right leg this time. Toes pointing straight forward. And then take your left leg out to the side and in. Inhale, side, exhale, in. I can feel my toes turning outwards. Try to keep them in. Whoa, this is work. It's all connected and all these muscles help to keep stabilize the knee and help strengthen the muscles we're strengthening the muscles around so that the knee can be strong and healthy. Last one, you're going to hold to the side. Left hand can be on your hip if you like. And smile. Breathe. And feel. You can feel it. I can feel that strength happening there. One or two more breaths or release. Listen to your body. As long as there's no pain, discomfort, yes, you'll feel it. And then release. And then just shake those legs out. Let's do a little wiggle here. Hold on to the chair if you need it and do it gently. Not as, not as fast as I'm going, whatever works. Maybe do a few hip circles one way and then the other. I just like the side to side and then pause and feel. Just feel the hands, feel the legs, hips. And then we're going to come into warrior one and two. So you're going to move the chair so that the seat of the chair is facing you. Bring your right foot underneath the chair in line with the legs of the chair so that your knee is touching the, 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 the chair. Left leg goes back. Left foot is in about 45 degrees or so. You want the front, your torso to be pointing forward. Take your hands to the heart. Now here I'd like you to Aim your, your right knee towards the baby toe, okay? Hips forward, right knee facing towards the baby toe. So hands to the heart. Inhale, arms up. Palms up to rotate the shoulders. And then palms down. So really allow your muscles of your bone, the bones and muscles to be tugging towards each other to strengthen the arms and the legs. And then we're just going to straighten the leg, right leg, and then bend. Straighten and bend. Keep aiming the knee towards the baby toe. Look at your right middle finger. Hug the arm muscles to the bone. And the last time you're going to just stay. Hold the pose. Breathe. Lower belly in and up, belly button in and up to engage the core. Keep pressing the right thigh towards the baby toe, imagining a wall behind the right thigh, beside the right thigh. And then release. You're going to turn towards the chair. And again, keep that right knee bent. Left foot is about 45 degrees, hands on your heart. Keep your hands on your hips if you want and lift your heart up for warrior one. If you want to go deeper, lift the arms up, shoulders back and down. Again, aiming the right knee towards the baby toe. Breathe in, breathe out. Just a gentle back bend. Remember, you can always have your hands on your hips and elbows touching towards each other or going towards each other. And 
and then slowly release. And then we're going to do one more pose. Might do that at the wall, actually. So let's come to the other side. I'm going to just move my chair. You can keep it where it is, just so that I'm facing the camera. Left foot underneath the chair, right leg back. Hips facing forward. Inhale the arms up, out to the side. Palms up and then palms down. Aim the knee towards the left baby toe. And then straighten the left leg and bend it. Straighten and bend. If the straightening doesn't work for you, just stay in the pose for as long as you can and then stop and then start again, okay? This kind of helps with tracking the knee. And then we'll hold. Breathe in, inhale, and then a longer exhale. Focus on the, the left finger, middle fingernail. Press the left outer thigh towards the back wall. And corners of the mouth up. And then turn towards the chair for warrior one. Take the right leg back. Right foot is at a little bit of an angle. Inhale the arms up or keep your hands on your hips. If you're taking the arms up, you're getting into the shoulders. Strengthening the shoulders. But you need to listen to your body. If it's not working for you today, hands here. You're still getting into the shoulders a little bit, strengthening the upper back. And then release. Take your hands to the seat of the chair. Left leg goes back for a little downward dog. And you're taking the hips up towards the ceiling, bottom towards the ceiling, head towards the thighs. Long, smooth breath in, long, smooth breath out. And then walk your feet towards the chair. Take a moment to notice how you feel. Feel any calmness in the mind, connect with that. And know that that quiet, still space in the mind is a glimpse of who we really are. And then you're gonna take your block now and we're gonna get into the, the walls squat, the fun, fun one. So you're gonna take the block or cushion if if you have a cushion, you may have to fold it together to get it to be the width of the block. Place the block, so lean back at the wall. Your feet are away from the wall. You're going to place the block between your thighs and knees. And then you're going to make sure your toes are all pointing straight ahead. And you're going to come to sit at, at the wall, like as if you're sitting on a chair. And we're just going to squeeze the block here. This is a really nice one. I find it really helps me with, with, any, with strengthening the quads and releasing any pain in the knees. I have that as well. So squeeze the block. Breathe, breathe. You don't have to stay very long. We're going to do three repetitions. And then slowly come up. Cleansing breath. And then bend your knees, sit down, squeeze the block or cushion. Squeeze it as tight as you can. Breathe in, smile. Breathe out longer and smile. Here, if you want, you can have arms and cactus to, to work the arms. If not, keep them down on your thighs. Listen to your body. Squeeze, squeeze the block. And then come up. So you want to gradually build a strength. So don't do it. 
like one minute right at the first go. Build strength and then gradually you can increase the time of the hold, all right? Let's do it one more time. Squeeze the block, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Breathe. Squeeze. We're getting into the inner thighs as well here. Listen to your body, come out when you're ready. One more breath. This one was a little bit longer. I'm sure you noticed. Squeeze and then release. Cleansing breath. Put the block down and then just rest against the wall. <sighs> release with a sigh and feel all that blocked energy leaving. And feel the blood rushing towards your brain. And this pose especially helps to really bring a lot of circulation to the knees. Relax. Feel your heart rate. Also works the heart, so you have to really listen to your body. If you have any heart sensitivities, you want to do it slowly and at the wall. And then we're going to, well, I'll just show you the triangle pose at the wall. We won't stay long. So again, you're at the wall. First, you have your feet as wide as you can go. Then you turn your right foot out, left foot in slightly. Hands to the heart, inhale, arms up. And you want to make sure that your heart is lifting up, but you're touching the wall. Both hips are pressing into the wall. And then reach all the way over to the right, tighten your leg muscles, and then bring your right leg in front of your, right arm in front of your right leg. Left hand can stay on the hip, aiming that hip backwards, or you can come up. Just two or three breaths here. And this kind of works the core, it works your inner, your abductors, adductors, your quads, and then slowly release, cleansing breath. Pause and feel. And then we'll do the other side. So this is triangle, trikonasana, but we're doing it against the wall. Left foot out 90 degrees, right foot in slightly. The whole back body pressing into the wall. Inhale, arms up. And then puff up the chest. Reach, reach, reach the left arm as far as you can. Tighten the left leg, right leg. Drop the left arm. Right arm can be up. You can look up or you can look down. Or your right hand can be in your hip. Breathe in, breathe out, in and out. One more breath or stop. Great way to get into the hips as well and release, cleansing breath. Pause and feel, rest at the wall. <sighs> Relax the whole body. Just drop all your weight down. Softening from face, head to toe. And then we're just going to stretch the hamstrings at the wall. So you're going to bring your right foot, right big toe to the wall. Take your left leg back. And hands are at shoulder level. And then you're going to walk your hands up as high as you can. You may have to take your left leg back further. I'm just going to stay here and feel that getting an arm stretch, shoulder stretch, and back of the leg stretch. Breathing in deeply and slowly exhaling. Even getting into the calves here. So I feel, I'm feeling the hamstring is working more on my right leg. I can feel the calf stretch more on the back leg. And then bend your knees, take your arms at shoulder level, push into the wall and switch legs. 
Keeping both legs straight, walk your hands forward, head towards the wall, making sure that both hips are facing the wall. Inhale, exhale slowly. Inhale, light, peace, and spaciousness, flexibility. Exhale, tension and holding, pain. Shoulders away from the ears. And then slowly release. Remember, you can always pause the video and stay longer if it's feeling really good. You want to stay longer. And rest at the wall again. Try not to fall over. Notice how this feels after. And then open your eyes. So one more at the wall in the chair. So this might be tricky. Anyway, so we're going to, you're going to bring the chair close to you. You're standing close to the wall. So one hand is going to be at the wall and one, the back, other hand on the back of the chair. So shift your weight to your right leg so that your left leg is close to the chair. And then you're going to so to modify first, you're going to just do three poses here at the wall, okay? Toes on the floor and your left heel on the ankle. So that's your modification. And you don't need to hold onto the chair then because you have the wall here. But if you can go deeper, take your left foot to the seat of the chair. And then you're going to make sure that your right toes are pointing straight ahead. Left foot is 90 degrees, ankle and knee in line. And you can feel the deep stretch and strengthening happening here in the left inner thigh, the adductor. I always get confused with those two words. And just breathe here. Inhale, calm. Exhale, soften your hips and glutes, your face and shoulders. Inhale, light, love and peace. Exhale, tension and holding. So you want to aim to press that left knee back towards the chair. Hmm. Exhale, letting go of everything. One more breath. And then turn the left foot to, to face the front and then slowly bring that leg down. Bend both knees. Take a moment to notice each side. And then We'll do the other side. So I'm going to have to, well, can I do it this way? Yep, I think, no, I can't do it. I'll have to, I'm going to have to face away from you guys. So shift your weight to the left leg this time. And then bring your right foot on the chair or modify with tree poles. And then again, you want to make sure that you are Your right knee and ankle are in line. And you're aiming that right knee and thigh to the back of the chair, standing tall. Deep breath in and slow breath out. Can you feel that work happening in your inner thigh? I can also feel it in my glute. Make sure that your left foot is pointing straight ahead.
long smooth breath in and long smooth breath out and then we'll finish up turn that right foot forward and then slowly bring it down and then take a moment to notice how you feel then come to sit on the edge of the chair and here you may need to modify for the pigeon pose I'll just give you the modification we've done this in my other our other classes you can modify with your right edge of the foot on the, the cushion or block if you don't need it you're going to sit on the edge of the chair bring the right ankle on the top of your left thigh towards the knee flex your right foot inhale lengthen your spine exhale if you're feeling it don't be bent forward okay stay where you're feeling a sensation but if you're not feeling it you start to bend forward with a straight back you can have your hands on the side of the chair or on your shins let's stay here for a few breaths Start to lengthen that exhalation again. Inviting calm and flexibility, peace and light, spaciousness into this right hip all the way into the knee, right glute. Exhale, releasing tension and holding. One more breath, please. Stay as long as you want if you want to pause the video and then if you're able to just keep the foot at an angle like this if not you'll cross the right leg over or just do a twist like this with your foot down but if you're able to so that we can get into the, the glute and the outer right thigh which will really help release any stuck energy in this in the knee area I find it really helps left hand pulls that or left forearm pulls that right thigh in and you're going to turn towards the right side for a twist keep pulling the thigh in sitting tall Notice the stretch in the, the bottom, the right bottom and right outer thigh. One more breath, please. And then release, cleansing breath. <sighs> Notice each side. And do the other side, modify if you need to. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, bend forward if you're not feeling it when you're sitting straight and start to concentrate on your inhale and long exhalation imagine that you've got lungs right on the left side of your hip and your glute in the left outer thigh and you're breathing in and out from there and affirmation that you could use to create more health in your body 
as I allow love, joy, and good health to flow through every cell of my body. I allow love, joy, and good health to flow through every single cell of my body. Or my knees are healthy and strong. Last breath here, please. Come to center, cleansing breath. And then we'll take your version of the twist on the other side. Pulling that left thigh in towards the opposite shoulder, turn to the left side. You kind of have to cradle that left knee into your right, the crook of your right arm. Breathe in love, joy, and good health into every cell of your body. I am healthy and strong. My knees are healthy and strong. One more breath here, please. And then slowly release, come to center. Take a moment to relax and notice how you feel. And then we're going to finish with Shavasana with legs on the chair or against the wall. And this is a great way, again, to it really helps with any arthritis in your knees, any pain, swelling, great way to re reduce pain, your pain level and inflammation, which is the cause of pain. So I'll show you how to get into it if you need a cover for you to stay warm. So for legs on the chair, you're basically just going to come to the floor if you can. If you can't, you just stay seated on the chair. Listen to your body. If for legs on the chairs, come close to the chair and then start to lay down. Swing your legs up and you're just going to rest here with the legs on the chair. But if you're doing legs on the wall, or you could even do it on the back of the chair if you don't have a wall. Hopefully you had a wall close by. Keep the chair back here. The same thing. You've done this before. And there's a, another video, again, on my channel. Bringing the hips close to the wall. And swing those legs up. Listen to your body. Do what feels good for you in your body. And we'll rest here. So I'm going to take my little shawl and put it over my legs just for extra comfort. Again, remember to practice this to reduce pain in the knees and inflammation in the body. Relax your now for a few moments. You can always stay as long as you want in this pose. Soften everything, every part of your body. And I allow love, joy, peace, and good health to flow through every single cell of my body. I am a pure, peaceful being. Even just repeating that, I am a pure and peaceful being throughout the day, starts to create changes in our, in our cells. Because our original nature is purity, so we are good health to our core. I am 
a pure and peaceful being. Really soften everything and allow all the old blood and lymph to just flow downwards to get refreshed at the heart. I am a pure, peaceful being, pure and free forever. I allow love, joy, and good health to flow through every single cell of my body. Begin to wiggle your toes and fingers, moving your head from side to side. If you had your knees on the wall, bend the knees and roll over to your side. Same thing if you had your legs on the seat of the chair. Just rest there for a little bit before you get up. And then when you're ready, 
will come to, uh, you can see either seated on the floor or on the chair again. And we'll finish with our closing meditation. Hands can be again in that Vayu Shamak Mudra, tip of the index finger at the base of the thumb, crossing the thumb over. Start to notice the state of your mind, your heart, your emotions, your whole body, your legs, your knees. Try not to resist the pain that is in, in the knees or anywhere in the body. But we, we acknowledge it and then we observe it without judgment. We give it our loving attention and eventually it will maybe move to a different part of the body or it may even disappear. What you resist persists. Not my words, but it that's true. So let's bring the palms together and rub them briskly. Cup your eyes. Take a breath in. And release. Hands down the front leg of the body and at the heart. Bowing down towards the light and purity that is within each and every one of us. May all beings feel peaceful, calm, healthy and strong, and may all beings always remember their divine nature with each breath. Namaste. Thank you for joining again. Please do like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the practice. See you next time.